Hi, everyone. I'm joined here with Ru Barbarian from Alias. Uh, and we would like to give you a little demonstration about this new wonderful. Um, do you want to explain to us what we're about to do? Today? Sure. Well, it's it's the uh, world's first uh, mobile, uh, completely anonymous, full node uh, staking mobile wallet on the Android. So it's um, yeah, it's a it's a world's first for crypto. Um, everything that you have on your desktop is now in your pocket, in your hand, like a wallet should be. So uh, Ronnie's showing off his uh, his wallet screen, and we're going to do a transaction. Um, I'm over here in uh, Ontario, Canada, and Ronnie, where are you? Where are you at? I'm currently in Palestine. So we're going nice. to do a in cross national yes uh, private uh, awesome. transaction just for Christmas. All right, so I'm going to share my screen and, and send uh, send something to you. Okay. So what you're looking at here, folks, is the beautiful desktop wallet from Alias. And uh, I'm just in the send tab here. I'm going to uh, paste a private address from Ronnie. And I'm going to send it privately. I'll just call it Ronnie Tip. And we're going to send 25 Alias. All right, so when I hit send, it's going to ask me, do you want to? Yes. I'm going to put it in my passphrase. No, hold on one, one second. I'll explain what they're seeing here. So I currently have, what is it, 2013 alias on my wallet. Mm -hmm. There's uh, three of them, by the way, I received from staking. You can actually stake on this mobile wallet. You which can. Is, uh, Another first. First of its kind. Mm -hmm. uh, and all of these 2013 are private uh, coins. OK. Nobody knows. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm just about to hit yes, and transaction is sent through the ether. And I boom! Thank you so much. Not even two seconds. Not even two seconds. That was the fastest tip I ever got. Sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. You can see, two thousand thirty-eight. And just so you know, um, this is uh, still. Uh, sort of the beta, it's a test test wallet, but the actual official wallet is going to drop December 24th. So just in time for Christmas, you'll have the full official uh, wallet. And uh, there's a couple new features that are coming. It could actually be today or tomorrow, but uh, biometric is gonna be added to the wallet and also a, um, a battery save mode as well. So, because that's, it's, it, is a, it is an intense wallet, uh, on your on your phone, so uh, saving the battery. But beautiful wallet on the desktop. Now in the palm oh, of your no, hand. Wallet running on your desk, desktop with staking with privacy. That's amazing. That's awesome. Thanks for showing it off. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. So, and Happy Hanukkah. So you know we're talking about how the community that uh, I have is a community of activists, and you know I've been trying to push forward this crypto discourse, and it's not that easy, uh, especially because people uh, don't like the whole notion of capitalism, et cetera. And, but actually, the, what, what they don't realize, and it's, we're still, you know, crypto, Bitcoin is really uh, in its nascent stages, but, um, uh, and, and what they don't realize is the, 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 the revolution that it brings along with it. And it's not even about money, it's far, far bigger than just about making money. Uh, yeah. And even the, those crypto YouTubers who uh, speak about Bitcoin, et cetera, they, they talk about how Bitcoin is the most scarce asset in the world, et cetera, and it is, but there's even something that's greater than that, which is, for example, that, that uh, Bitcoin is becoming a truth machine, something that, that is immutable and cannot be altered. No government in the world has the power to alter anything that's on the blockchain. And that, that, that in itself is huge. And what is the price of truth? What is the value of truth keeping? Mm -hmm. For the first yeah. time in history, we're actually able to record history, to record authenticated data. That in itself is, is, is amazing. And then there's the whole thing, of course, of uh, decentralization, uh, being censorship resistant and borderless, et cetera. And, and if you put all of these things together, it's totally about empowering people rather than governments and totally about uh, having technology finally for the first time on our side 
in order to hopefully create a better future. It is true. It's so uh, been using the phrase user, user data protection lately, as opposed mm -hmm. to privacy. Even though it's a privacy coin, we're all we're very proud of it, and you know being anonymous. But uh, in this world of hyper connectivity and surveillance, um, and just even people knowing things that are legal to be known, um, I think user data protection is the next wave in, in how crypto will be uh, adopted because there's this backlash against privacy coins, you know, being delisted and all this, you know, oh, it's nefarious activity. It's like, well, a majority of these privacy currencies are not uh, dark web, you know, <laughs> advocate. they're more about protection, protecting people's right to privacy. And the fact that even in the modern, in the new, in the world, people pay millions of dollars to protect their transactional data it's all legal and it's done for a very valid reason. Um, if I'm a company that wants to say, purchase another company or is making purchases, my, I don't want my competition to be knowing my transactional history. Um, on the positive uh, social purpose side, you know, to, to send remittances uh, immediately directly to the people that need it, uh, bypassing nefarious governments and all those things. There's so, so much good we can do with cryptocurrency. And that's why I love, you know, a currency like Alias and other privacy coins that uh, they're, they're positioned in a, in a way if they can hang on to actually be the common currency um, along with, you know, a Bitcoin or others. Um, I think we'll have multiple currencies. It'd be like restaurants. We all have, we all have our favorite our favorite flavor, and yeah. uh, favorite all purpose. Multiple languages. We all speak different exactly. languages. But there's this universal translator between them, and um, and the nice thing about Alias is that you can actually choose uh, how how much you claim your privacy, your right to privacy, yeah. or if you choose to do things publicly. And there's the power of doing things. You yeah, you have the call. choice, the freedom to choose. The freedom to be private, but the freedom to choose private or public. Okay. And as a merchant, you know, a company, you you have to show show somewhat your transactions and and be taxable and all that. So, the beauty of a multi-purpose private private coin um, is, I think, Alias is well positioned to be to be a common currency. So, and we can start a revolution. So both. <laughs>